Yesterday was a momentous day for Donald J. Trump. He was indicted for 34 counts of falsifying business records and also one count of clogging the courthouse toilet. They added that one at the last minute. <laughs> so old Trumpy went down to the courthouse, looked around stupid for a couple of minutes, and then <laughs> fled on his private jet to Florida because, as you all know, Florida does not have an extradition treaty with the United States. <laughs> He rolled up to Mar-a-Lago, and then he waved to his supporters, and then offered to put his thumb up their butt. <laughs> it's, it's, it, what, what is this? Seriously. What, who adds motion to a thumbs up? It's simple. Just lock the elbow. Trump, Trump got to be the first person to add the jerk-off motion to a thumbs up. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming out. I really appreciate it. Oh. <laughs> so then, after all of that, it was time for Trump to give his big speech. And sidebar, why are people still going to Trump's speeches? Like, I get it, I get it, that's your dude, but you know what he gonna say. He said, Donald Trump is a comedian that ain't changed his act in years. <laughs> you know what he gonna do. Liberal media be doing this, <laughs> and Joe Biden, Joe Biden and them, they be doing this. <laughs> Y'all know I ain't lying. Come on now, DJ, kick it. <laughs> the only... <laughs> the only thing... The only thing that changes year to year with Trump is who his enemy is. And for this fight, he's got two new ones. In a defiant speech at Mar-a-Lago, the former president claimed he's a victim and targeted the prosecutor and judge in the case. They can't beat us at the ballot box, so they try and beat us through the law. The criminal is the district attorney. I have a Trump-hating judge with a Trump-hating wife and family. go to trial and talk shit about the judge. <laughs> That's bold. The judge could destroy you. He could destroy you and you riling him up. You about to fight cocaine bear. You don't offer him crack first. <laughs> and he didn't just call out the judge. Trump called out the kids. <laughs> the ki you don't pull the kids into Even rappers don't go after the kids and they murder each other. And Trump said the man has a Trump-hating wife. But to be fair, to be fair, I don't even know if that was an insult, because <laughs> Donald Trump also has a Trump-hating wife. <laughs> you, know, you can't tell me Melania don't hate that man. If anything, this week was confirmation. If y'all think Trump... Let me, let me ask you this thing. During Donald Trump's 45 minutes as a political prisoner, where was his wife? Well, many people noticed the former first lady, the former president's wife, Melania Trump, was not in attendance last night. His wife, former first lady Melania Trump, she was not there. Among the guests were ardent Trump supporters, including Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene and the My Pillow founder, Mike Lindell. One person noticeably absent last night was former first lady Melania Trump. Even the pillow salesman showed up for the speech. <laughs> but his own wife didn't show up. And the speech was at the house. <laughs> Melania didn't even come downstairs. She just, she opened up the bedroom door. Oh, you're back from prison already. Oh. <laughs> Trump supporters aren't just supporting him with donations. They sound like they're ready to do whatever it takes to avenge him. After Trump's indictment, some on social media called for war and said it's time for a real insurrection. This thing opens up a whole Pandora's box here, and I don't really think the left understands what they're getting themselves into. It almost feels like they're pushing the population to react. We think they're demoralized and passive. Let's see if they really are. Probably not the best time to give a gray AR-15, and I think most people know that. They are agitating for unrest. Th that th that's the only way to interpret this. I'm ready for whatever's next. And I hope every other man out there watching this show, I hope you're ready for whatever's next. If that's what they want, let's, let's, let's get to it. Now look, look, I can't speak for all the mother folks we just saw, but I'm gonna tell you this much. When a black man wearing a leather jacket, he ain't around.
Okay. <laughs> doubt the mother folks if you want, but do not doubt this man. Look at him, looking like Blade's granddaddy. <laughs> Probably got the sword right there under the damn seat. But you gotta give it up to these Trump supporters, man. You gotta give them credit. They talking about showing up to the courthouse, showing up to the courthouse, knowing that the NYPD will be there. And the NYPD will be ready. Look, I don't know if you've seen the footage of the NYPD, but they whoop ass. <laughs> uh, they make the playoffs every year. <laughs> but, you know, the NYPD, they, they might not beat these MAGA protesters too bad. Cops might recognize some of them from doing January 6th together. But... <laughs> but... <laughs> it, don't clap for the police going to January 6th. <laughs> <laughs> but as passionate as Republicans are, you gotta give them credit. This case is being quarterbacked by a black district attorney, and not once have they called him the N-word. <laughs> That's amazing. Excuse, excuse me one more second. Excuse me one second. Hey there. <laughs> I'm very proud of y'all. You're very angry about this, but at no point have you gone all the way to publicly using the N-word, <laughs> and that's growth. And I want you to know that I see you and I see your progress, and that's just a little pat on the back from your old Uncle Roy. <laughs> to me, here's what's weird about the reaction from Trump supporters. They're getting ready for revenge for what Democrats did to Donald Trump, but they're also celebrating what Democrats did to Donald Trump because they think it'll help him win the election. So to help me break that down a little bit more on that, we turn to the homie Ronnie Chang. Ronnie Chang. <laughs> Good to see you, Ronnie. Good to see you, Ronnie. Now, Ronnie, Ronnie, can you believe that some people think getting arrested is actually going to help Trump? Yeah, because they're right. <laughs> of course getting arrested is going to help Trump. You know how badass he's going to look when he walks into the Republican debates with a face tattoo? <laughs> Now Trump's got street cred. You're black, you know what that is. But, Ronnie, jail is not an instant path to greatness. You know jail is not an instant path to greatness. You're an Asian, you're smarter than this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am Asian, which is why I know Trump is, a, is gonna be a martyr now. He'll be like the Nelson Mandela of the people who put Nelson Mandela in jail. <laughs> Everyone thinks they want upstanding leaders, but what they really want are bad boys who don't give a f <laughs> Bill Clinton got a blow job in the Oval Office, and that's still the most popular thing he ever did. No, no, no. That's not... That's not true. That's not true. Oh, though. yeah? Well, yeah. name one other thing he did, then. He played saxophone on Arsenio Hall. Yeah, well, that's just another form of blowing, okay? Face it, Roy. <laughs> It's 2023. Being indicted now makes you a stronger candidate. It's like being a rapper or Martha Stewart. Okay, in fact, I'm calling it. Trump is now the official front runner for president. Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. I just said it on The Daily Show with Roy Wood Jr. No, don't say it with Roy Wood Jr. Just say The Daily Show. The so Daily you, Show with Roy Wood Jr. Jr. officially no, no, no. says no, no, no. that Donald Trump no, no, no. is now the lead candidate in the presidential seriously, race. Seriously, seriously. Th that's your prediction. Trump wins election over already. Done. Yeah. Unless Joe Biden can also get indicted for something even crazier. I mean, I'm talking Hunter Biden crazy, okay? None of this classified documents bullshit. No one gives a f about documents, okay? No, I'm saying at the next cabinet meeting, Biden's got to beat Pete Buttigieg to death. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, how, how about this? How about this? He could, he, he could steal a nuclear bomb and use it to beat Pete Buttigieg to death. <laughs> You should give me a medal for saying that twice. Or Biden, uh, do something else illegal, okay? Bla uh, Roy, you're black, okay? Name some crimes. Uh, <laughs> Grand Theft Auto, um, possession with intent to distribute, writing bad checks would be a great... Wait a minute, man. <laughs> Don't make me suggest crimes for the president, man. You're saying in order to win, Biden has to fight fire with fire. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's a great pitch, okay? He should set the White House on fire, right? With... <laughs> with Pete Buttigieg inside, okay? So, so Biden has to one-up Trump, okay? If Trump goes to prison, 
Biden has to go to solitary, get the death penalty, and then just to be safe, go to hell, okay? So <laughs> basically, whoever goes to hell first will win the election because that's democracy, baby. Okay. Hey, they gotta go to hell? They gotta go to hell? You make hell sound like a swing state. Yeah, they, yeah, exactly. Hell is like Ohio, except not as bad. Okay, that's enough. Ronnie change, everybody. Oh, oh, oh. Did you see what that black woman did to the white woman who did the same thing to a previous woman in a previous game? <laughs> must tweet it. Can't resist, must tweet. Oh. First off, Caitlin Clark herself was okay with the shit. She was fine with it, because Caitlin gets that trash talk is part of the game. And I agree. Per personally, I think trash talk is good for sports. Sports is better when there's trash talk, even better when it might start a race war. <laughs> you can't see me. You can't see me. And to be honest, man, this was some good competition, yo. Caitlin Clark versus Angel Reese. This might be the new Magic Johnson versus Larry Bird. <laughs> this might be the start of a feud that bleeds into the professional and into the N WNBA. You think Caitlin Clark ain't back in Iowa right now training? You think she ain't right now dunking off the side of a barn? <laughs> Hell, LSU might have messed up and created a monster. The last thing you want in your life is a white woman with a grudge. You seen the movies? <laughs> Them white women get mad? Hey, you get a white woman mad, they keep coming and keep coming and coming. Did y'all see Alien? <laughs> That alien pissed off Sigourney Weaver one time, and then Sigourney whipped that alien's ass for four straight movies. <laughs> then, then she went and sick the predator on their ass. Here's what bothered me about today. I'll say this, Don Donald Trump deserves a fair trial, but I also want Trump to get the full American criminal justice experience, which is not what happened today. My man got to schedule his visit to the courthouse like he the cable man. <laughs> Trump called the court, hey, listen, I'll be down to the jail Tuesday between 10 and 2. Just make sure you get that. <laughs> then, once Trump got there, there were no handcuffs, there were no mug shots, there were no perp walks. Well, for Trump, it would be a perp waddle, but you <laughs> understand. But, you know, that, that doesn't make the point. My, my point is, I'm disappointed, because today shows you how humane our courts could be. So many people get dragged into this legal system and it's humiliating. You get handcuffed, you get gawked at, you wait days, sometimes months for an arraignment. And then you go into a building through one of those mini <laughs> doors. <laughs> you get to a room, they strip you naked, they spread your ass cheeks, they make you cough twice, which I never understood the second cough. <laughs> but the first cough I get, one cough is enough to know whether or not I got drugs in my booty. The second cough is for you. That's wrong. Am I sharing too much with y'all right now? I thought this was, I thought I could open up to y'all, apparently not. My point is, for the sake of this country, I hope that Donald Trump gets a swift trial, but that doesn't mean he should get to use the TSA pre-check lane. But here's the good news. The New York investigation is just one of many into the former president, so we'll have plenty of other opportunities to get him arrested correctly. So Georgia, got plenty more opportunities. So, state of Georgia, if you're listening, when you finally get Donald Trump in your courtroom, make sure he coughs twice. <laughs> I'm trying to go viral this week, you know? It's a lot of pressure as guest hosts. You know, you got to be funny, you got to be satirical, you got to be powerful, you got to, you got to, you know, you got to go viral. And I don't know what to do. I, would, I just wish I had somebody that I could talk to to guide me Roy. through some of this stuff, man. Roy a... would, Roy, use the force, Roy. Who that? Roy, who, use, who that? use the force. I don't with Roy. ghosts, man. Who that? Roy, who? use the force. Use the, use the force, who, who? Roy. Roy, Roy, just. <laughs> Thank you.
I knew I knew your ass. You're Obi-Wan Kenobi. I'm John. I'm John. Stuart, I, I used to work here when the budget wasn't as big. Uh, Years back, it was. You worked here. You, you worked no, here. I, worked, I actually, I actually hosted the program. To be honest with you, The Daily Show had a white host. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you dressed like Obi Wan Kenobi? I, I like to be comfortable. Okay. Roy, the point is this. Okay. Donald Trump doesn't define Wait, if you're you. Obi Wan Kenobi. Okay. What does that make me? Because if you're Obi Wan, that make me Luke Skywalker. And I don't want to no, be Luke you're... Skywalker. Why the? Wouldn't you want to be Luke Skywalker? Luke Skywalker kissed his sister. I want to be Han Solo instead. Han Solo was badass. Han Solo was cool. Uh -huh. He had the ship. You can be Chewbacca. Why would I want to be like a wolf ape? That doesn't make... <laughs> Look, I think it would make more sense if I were the wise sage who mentors the young host and not the wolf ape. Also, I, I cannot return this robe. Uh, what happened was... <laughs> The events that took place in this... Yeah, but if you're Obi-Wan, if you're Obi-Wan and I'm Luke, then does that mean my dad is Vader? Because if my dad is Darth Vader, does that mean Donald Trump is my dad? Why? I'm trying to... I'm trying. I know that. Roy, why would Donald Trump be your father? Because if I'm Luke and Trump is Vader, that means Trump killed you. What? <laughs> Fine, you're Han Solo, I'm Baby Yoda. Fine. The point Why is... Why can't you be regular Yoda? What the f*** are you talking about? I... What? I should have come when Silverman was here. When Silverman! Listen. Okay. Okay, okay. How about this? How about this? Because I want to go along with it. I want to go along with you on this. Okay, how about you be Yoda, because you're all hobbled and green and shit, and I'll be Lando. For obvious reasons. I can be Lando, you know. Is this a trap? <laughs> yeah, because you're... You both have... Uh, mustaches! Mustaches! Yeah. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> My point is this, Roy, and okay. thank you for having me on the program. The thing about... And you're doing a fabulous job, by the thank way. Thank you, brother. The thing about this historic indictment is that American Judas I Prince... I think we're out of is... time. Thank you so much, for the... I mean, John Stewart. John Stewart, everybody. One of America's Supreme Court justices is in a major corruption scandal. And you'll never guess who. OK, it's Clarence Thomas. <laughs> but you'll never guess what. A simply blockbuster, bomb bombshell report. Get this, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas did not disclose luxury trips around the world worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. ProPublica says Justice Thomas has for years accepted free charter jet flights and stays on a yacht at, and uh, luxury resorts from real estate developer Harlan Crow. Crow is a conservative mega donor. Crow tells uh, ProPublica he's never tried to influence the justice on legal or political issues. Oh, yeah, 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 sure, I'm sure. No, no, hang on, no, no. I'm sure this billionaire Republican didn't want to influence nobody. He, he just, no, no, he no. He just wanted to go on vacation with Clarence Thomas, you know, because we all know that Clarence Thomas is clearly a bag of fun. <laughs> just be straight up. Who wouldn't want to pull up on Miami Beach with old CT? <laughs> Come on, Clarence, we're doing tequila shots. Mmm, Clarence loves tequila shots. <laughs> I don't know why I made him sound like Sling Blade. Here's my question. If you're going to buy a Supreme Court justice, why would you spend all that money on luxury yachts and planes for Clarence Thomas? You could have bought Brett Kavanaugh for a bottle of Jaeger and a Southwest <laughs> Body Pass. This is the better deal. Borden Group B. This morning, it's a battle of the bulls. Chipotle Mexican Grill filing a lawsuit in California against salad chain Sweetgreen, alleging Sweetgreen's new Chipotle chicken burrito bowl violates Chipotle's trademark rights. Chipotle claiming Sweetgreen's very similar and directly competitive bowl is an attempt to capitalize on their brand, arguing the competitor's ad uses the same font and style as Chipotle's branding and features a similar color to their trademarked adobo red. Chipotle 
Chipotle says Sweetgreen should change the name of its new bowl by one, putting the word Chipotle in lowercase and renaming it as a chicken bowl with Chipotle. That's right. That's right. The two whitest restaurants in America are fighting over who gets to use a Mexican word. And honestly, honestly, what the hell is Chipotle mad about? You named yourself after a seasoning. That's on you, Playboy. <laughs> and honestly, both, both, both these companies need to get sued just for using the word burrito bowl. <laughs> if it ain't wrapped up, it ain't a burrito. <laughs> stop, stop it. It's just shit in a bowl. You're putting shit in a bowl and you go, oh, this is our burrito bowl. Bitch, that's dry chili. <laughs> Would you like to try our all-new PB&J sandwich bowl? <laughs> Sorry, did I say I wanted pudding? I could have sworn I wanted a sandwich. But back in the day, you'd be watching TV, flipping the channels, and then you'd see an ad for one of those for-profit colleges. Be some dude in a T-shirt in the parking lot <laughs> telling you to get your shit together. First off, how you gonna tell me to get my shit together? Your shirt ain't even got a collar, brother. <laughs> Or worse, they'd level up after a little while and get Master P's son to rap to us about education. Say ICDC. Call it ICDC College. Say ICDC. I'm so ICDC. College. <laughs> Do you like reading and shit? <laughs> I think that's the first time a dude lost a rap battle to himself. <laughs> but the thing is, People who graduated from these for-profit schools are often drowning in debt or end up with a degree that nobody respects. The fact is, if you want a degree somebody respects, oh, you gotta get you one of these, baby. <laughs> this is my actual college degree, broadcast journalism, bitches, from a four-year institution. <laughs> Florida a and four-year institution. None of that parking lot bullshit. <laughs> Cost me about $60,000. Should have been $45,000, but I flunked a year of school because <laughs> I skipped school during midterms to open for Tommy Davidson. True story. <laughs> and you know what I love? This is this, this thing I love about college degrees. You ever notice when you get a college degree, your parents always want you to take a picture with them. Like, they be cheesing super hard. Look at my mama. <laughs> Look at my mama. My mama's smiling harder than me, you know? <laughs> She's been in higher education for almost four decades, so you know she's happy about the degree. And I'm smiling, too. To be fair, I'm smiling, but the only reason I'm smiling is because I ain't seen the invoice yet. <laughs> <laughs> but now, the once exalted four-year college degree is starting to feel a lot like the parking lot education. It's no wonder that people are starting to doubt the whole thing. More and more Americans are asking themselves, is a college degree still worth it? For high school senior Reigns Lucas, his biggest challenge isn't getting into his dream schools. It's paying for them. It's just not sensible to go somewhere and take on hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt. Many top executives are questioning the purpose of a college degree, including Elon Musk. There's no need even to have a college degree oh, okay. at all. <laughs> Listen. You know it's bad when the dude who bought Twitter says college is a bad investment. <laughs> That's one of mine. Take a second. Uh -huh, 44 billion. Oh yeah, that was bad. Yeah, that was a good joke.